What's up, guys? SES back with a. Uh, I got some gauges right here if anybody interested. But you don't, guys. 7176 completion parlor. Um, VHX, silver, and blue. Black and white. Making this video. Got some great news from an engineer yesterday, man. Like, the best news I done heard probably this year. Like, if I would have got an engineer on site, man, the shop probably could have been up, like, I mean, not been up, well, been up in two weeks. Maybe, maybe even one. So I started off, I started uh, clearing. I, I stopped clearing, but I started clearing initially about three months ago. And the reason for the engineer was because the quotes. So y'all seen the slope, and I told the engineer like, hey, uh, I need a retaining wall. And when he seen it, and he seen the space, he said, you don't need a retaining wall. Like, you got enough space to fill the area and then leave slopes on, on each end besides the front because the front is pretty flat. So I was like, wow, so all this time I've been getting quotes for retaining wall. Four inch retaining wall, six inch retaining wall, eight inch, 10 inch. Everybody, they, they just see money when they come here, see cars. I just don't understand. I'm getting quotes from like literally like 10,000 to all the way to 43,000. So that big wide span of price is like ridiculous. So I mean, once I got the 40,000, $43,000, uh, Price, I was like, nope, you know what? Definitely gotta get an engineer because I got like seven different quotes and they all over the place. Everything should be close, so. He seen the area, man, he said, oh man, you, you your shop is ending right here? Like, this white little piece there. That's where I'm trying to estimate it to start. I mean, in and start right there. So he said, man, you got like, Check your uh, covenants and stuff. And do you have any easements for drainage? Like, nope, I ain't got none of that. What to do? Drain back there, but not right there because it just keep going lower and lower. So shouldn't be an issue with drainage. She said, yeah, man, I mean, you could literally feel all this, backfill all this, and put the slab on top. So when I heard that, I was like, wow. I, I really was mad, man, because all these people that do concrete know like what they've set concrete on and stuff like that. So they instantly oh, need a 10 inch wall, 360 tons of gravel. Like I'm talking about, it's like, it's sad, man. But uh, I just bought me a new chainsaw, a wrencher, a uh, Husqvarna wrencher, two, 20 inch. Because that Amazon saw was not doing it. And I ran into the saw three times. So that's $75 each, two something. I said, it just, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy one. So that come Friday, I'm gonna go rent a a uh, skidster with the log attachment on there. I'm gonna rent a skidster, a skidster with the log attachment on there. And then chop this stuff up. And I got a pile for the firewood. I need to go and get the uh termite repellent stuff put it on the ground over there uh i got the insert for the house but i don't want to use those for that um uh, if anybody needs some don't parts i am selling the, these parts so but i am selling some parts and don'ts uh i gotta get this trim off this door from my car but if anybody needs some don't parts let me know i'm gonna go over there to that car but yeah man that, that that's that's a great update and i'm really like kind of sad that I had to really wait like over two months to get an engineer on site to tell me that I can do that. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. But good thing, saving a lot of money. Like a lot of money. Like I'm back in my original price range, which is flawless. Great. <sighs> I be cutting that, man. That stuff be giving me problems. I had to buy a new lawnmower too, man. My, my little cheap lawnmower went out. The deck kept breaking, the teeth broke out, they was hitting each other. Mark's like, damn, yeah, just fix it. I'm like, man, I'm fixing this broke lawnmower every time I get on it. I just, you don't have the time to keep doing that stuff. Damn, you fix everything up? I'm like, yeah, but, I mean, I'm not trying to fix a lawnmower every time I jump on it. 
I cut the grass every week. So it saved me a lot of time. I got my car out, I had to push it out. Going strictly Tahoe. Strictly Tahoe. Took the lift post out. And just rode, rode it in here sideways. I don't have, like, if I put this straight up and down, I can't really get to the front and back, so I just put it sideways so I can open the door. Uh, shout out to Tweet G Customs, he coming. Coming down here, paint this, and drop his cutlass off for a swap. And uh, oh yeah, on them swaps, man. So you get a lot of people, can you fly out? Can you do this, can you do that? I could, I could fly out, but I can't really fly out because I can't fly with no 400 pounds worth of tools or more. Everybody likes to work their own tools, man. I like to work my own tools, so. I don't need somebody else's tools. I'm gonna be where it is, where that kind of kind of irritating. Consoles, I've been going console crazy. I'm actually about to drop y'all some consoles while I'm talking on the screen. Uh, I've been trying kick pods. I actually found a method that worked. I only tried once this year, but in the past I've tried multiple times. So I finally found a method that worked, and I ordered the supplies for it yesterday. So that's set. Um, so yeah, this weekend I should be just chopping logs and cleaning up that backyard, get my my uh, trailer filled up. And about that, I said I was gonna rent a chipper. The chipper, the price of a chipper was like 300 for four days. But in four days, I wouldn't be able to do it all. I probably could, but that still make you so tired that it's just not worth it. I'd rather take my time and put it on the trailer whenever I feel like it, because if it's blazing 95 degrees and I'm on a time crunch I'm just gonna have to do it and then if it's raining and I already paid for the rental I'm still gonna have to do it so I don't really I ain't really want to do it so what I did is I made some side pieces for the trailer show y'all them real quick I made some side pieces for the trailer and I just loaded it up I made two trips and at my local field yard land land field field yard land field it's uh, $40 per ton, and I'm coming in at half a ton, three-quarter ton, but it's $40 minimum. So I spent $80 on two big, stupid loads of brush. Had to do it, one for the shop, and then one for front bushes and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, the trailer definitely coming in handy, so hopefully I can get all this cleaned up this weekend and then that following week I'll rent uh, on Friday a backhoe and the, the, the weight on the backhoe there's the pieces I was talking about the weight on the backhoe is uh, 7200 so it should be alright and it's only like a 5 mile distance so the trailer should be alright uh, pull the stumps put the stumps on the trailer hopefully Hopefully I could do it with the backhoe because I can't really pick up no stumps. Probably could cut them down, but you can't use a chainsaw because it got dirt in it. It's a method to like all this different stuff. And I just be finding out as I go. I'm literally just looking stuff up, finding ways and making it happen. Um, but I was at the point where, when I got the $40,000 quote, I was at the point where I was like, man, I might as well just go find some land and put the shop on it. But got the engineer that came by yesterday man i promise y'all i was so happy but mad at the same time like you got these people literally just trying to get all the money they can out you like being greedy y'all actually getting nothing by being greedy like and they know what they be doing because they do this stuff every day i mean i guess they're gonna get jobs or whatever but it's oh yeah it's a big job it's a big slab it's a big this big that be this much so anyway yeah, console crazy. Um, shop steel, well back rolling. Tahoe full force. Couple pieces for sale. Oh, I got Tierra grills too. Um, uh, 8690. I don't know if I said it. I got one plain and one with a white LED. Price is twelve hundred and fourteen fifty for the one with the LED. Fourteen twenty five for the one with the LEDs. If anybody's interested, and that's the ship price. If you're interested in anything else. I can't get it, but right now, it is an eight-week wait. Eight weeks. Dakota Digital on the HDX is just an eight-week wait. On a, I mean, V8, yeah, HDX, eight-week wait. VHX is like a two-week, four-week wait. It depends on the vehicle, too. Um, 
Console prices. The prices went up, man. Because literally, I gotta, I gotta calculate fuel, fabric, uh, materials, different bit. Let me show y'all this bit. That's the most expensive bit I ever paid for. LSJ Ride 254, if you're watching this, he said, a bit for $158? That bit better spend itself. No, I'm telling people, like, man, with certain tools, you, you like, forced to use certain stuff because you can't harbor freight everything. Harbor freight don't got, like, a lot of these bits. Each bit you're looking at is range, just from one, range from $10 to $158. Each bit. All these... 40 each. $80. Same thing, but bigger. You got drill bits, you got all kinds of stuff. I had to get this here finger saver for me, man. Because let me show y'all. Like I said, if, if, you, if you're trying to do this type of stuff, this woodwork, you definitely want to get the right stuff. So, cut my finger there, and cut this finger. The whole nail off. So, trying to do this stuff, take it from me. Go ahead and get the right stuff. Don't be being cheap. Don't be being scared. If you being scared, people gonna be scared to buy. So, don't be scared. Then go full force, man. That's really it. Um, I got iPad console coming for box shades and don'ts. Um, got C10. I got two C10 consoles to do. I got two to knock out this week. Uh, I be seeing people too that do the same exact thing. All my consoles, I try to do different, but I be seeing people do the same exact thing. I'm trying to find a design that's pretty basic that only, that, that'll be the only one that I like reproduce. But as far as when somebody get a console, you'll never see that console again. So that's the good part about custom. The only way you'll see it again is somebody copy the design. Yeah. Mines are very distinctive from everybody else's. Um, C10 console I'm trying to knock out today. Got a stash on it. That thing hit. It's hitting. This iPad console, I ain't, I ain't showing it, man. I gotta put some oomph in it. I literally finished the like base of it about, about six weeks ago. But I'm trying to Trying to find a way to make it not look like the rest. Like all my consoles, man, every one. Every one I do, I'll do the last one. So I'm gonna try to keep that going. Just trying to learn though. Like I said, I ain't been to school. I did put that on Instagram. I ain't been to school. I just literally buy stuff and work with it and hope, hope for the best. Hope for the best. If I figure it out, y'all can figure it out, I promise you. But uh, anyway, that's it. SCS, man, I'm out.